<laughs> see per <laughs> per slappy Ollie in chat. Oh. I mean, all I've got to say, they've got a point. They have got a point. I've also just read that uh, for any... I am a wrestling nerd. That is something about me. Um... Vince McMahon just retired. For any other wrestling nerds out there, he has retired. Say goodbye to the giant. <laughs> I mean, all I've got to say in this instance, now I am against any form of bullying, of course, as I hope everyone is. But in this instance. You've kind of walked into this one, pal. I'm not going to lie to you. You've kind of done this one to yourself. You've got an emote there dedicated to Chucky. And you think it's slappy from Goosebumps. It's... I wish I could defend Jimmy. I wish I could. But not at this time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure you'll get over it, bud. I'm sure you'll get over it one way or another. Tell me the truth, though. You Did you Google it when you left? Tell me the truth. I have a feeling you Googled it. You can, this is a safe space. You can admit it. It's okay. This is... This is who we're talking about. Alright? It's this one. This is Chucky. Not... Now... Well, this one... Uh, you can't see my mouse, I don't think. But, uh, one, two, three, four along from the top there. That's kind of remake Chucky. This one down here as well, just below. It's kind of remake Chucky. Um, but, yeah, over there on the right, that's that's main Chucky. That's, that... Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't... I... I, I have to assume you're trolling at this point, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Oh, you, so you're working through them. So you watch Jaws. So tonight will maybe be Child's Play. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Think we'll need a bigger boat. No, we're going to need a bigger boat. Come on, Andrew. Get it right. Hope y'all like my little man cave set up here behind me. Got the arcade machine. Which way's my hand going? This one. Got the arcade machine there. Some Star Wars stuff up there. Little trinkets in the corner. Ah, wow, this is really weird. Ah, back over here. Trinkets over there in the corner. But I still can't show you show you my setup, Ollie, because like I say, I'm just on a laptop. 
This is all new to me. I am working towards a PC. I am working towards a PC setup. I desperately want one. But I'm kind of like, hey, if you're going to get something, go big or go home. So I, uh, yeah, I, I need to have an expensive one. I just have to. Could I go out just now and go and grab one from a, you know, from like a Walmart or a Best Buy? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, arcade is still working. Arcade, so it's a um, Ultimate Legends arcade. So it comes with um, something like a hundred games or something like that installed. Some kind of classic card ga arcade games, other uh, ports as well. But you can also import your own games as well. So I've probably got another 200, 300 arcade games uh, imported as well on there. So it's quite nice. I don't play it as much as I really should. Um, but there is a way that I think you can stream from it. It is connected up to the internet and there are streaming options. So maybe one day do a little arcade stream. Just to play some, some old school classic arcade games. But it's good, right? Because it fulfills that need for... When I was younger, when I sucked at games and I didn't have enough money to actually complete the arcade games, <laughs> when I went there, I can now just sit there and knock out all the credits and get them completed. Well, that's that's well, that's just a different uh, language. Uh, yeah. Have you never had Sile Tolino? No. Oh. Very popular. I think it was in some animated film. I think it was in Book of Life. Which is a good film, by the way, for an animated film. I've never seen that one either. Very good, very good. It's um It's about the tradition of remembrance for the Mexican culture. It's very hammed up, but it's okay. it's got a nice plot. It's about remembering your loved ones, remembering your family. That sort of stuff. Not forgetting them. Which is very important in Mexican culture. Hmm. It's like you get to live in this luxurious out afterlife, but, but only for so long as someone living remembers you. Okay. Yeah. It's, huh. it's, it's a nice film. It's an animated film, so it's got some of those oh, types wait, of tropes in it. That's pretty much the... Um the plot of um, a Disney movie, isn't it? That Disney movie. That recent Disney movie. Oh my goodness. Um, oh my word, why am I blanking on this? Are you thinking Coco? Yes. Oh. It's very similar to Coco, yes. Yeah. And I liked Coco a lot, actually. Coco was a good movie. Coco was a good movie, yeah. I, th I thought Coco was really good. I watched Coco because I watched Book of Life and someone went, oh, that's like Coco. And I went, oh, I've not seen I'm that. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I am having some very, very weird... Some very, very weird. Yeah, uh, hang on. Oh, quick. Oh, yep, yeah, stay there. Um... 1080 by 1024. Okay, we're going to transition to best server because Jimmy will be joining us. Okay, perfect. I will be there in a second. Sure, you take your uh, you take your time. I'm good. So I had to move the game over to my other monitor. It didn't do um, it didn't pop up on my right monitor. So I moved it over. And now I'm getting a really, when I full screen it, I'm getting really, I'm getting grainy resolution. It's fine when I window it, but when, um, I, when I do the full window, it goes really grainy. Interesting. Yeah. It's probably fighting with the resolution of your monitor. I've played on this one before, though. Yeah, I'm not saying it should fight with the resolution yeah. of your monitor. Anyway, I'll see you in best server when you're yep. uh, ready, buddy. I will be there promptly. Uh, I don't like.
like this. I want full windowed or full tech people help. Oh wait, is that that looks a bit better? Okay. Yes. There we go. Okay. We are in. Let me go over to this other server. gonna go into this one and we're gonna go into this one hello 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 okay this looks fine there yeah I thought about logging off there that was gonna be my next thing was to log off but this seems to be all right let me just see what it looks like here on the cam. yeah that should be all right that should be all right can't wait to use that can't wait to use that so oh, who, yeah who are we waiting on jimmy jimmy okay oh i have yeah, no wait. I have a lot of money. That tells me I died. <laughs> yeah, probably. I vaguely remember you dying the last time you played with us. <laughs> Let's be honest, it just kind of merges into just one tater death at this point. Oh yeah. You're not that bad. I have my moments. That is for absolute certainty. Bum, bum, ba, da, da. Jimmy's just watching one final speedrun attempt on the level solo and then he will be over. No worries. I remembered to update my stream. Go me. Well done. Oh, and you put me in the title. One of gentlemen. I know. I did while I was uh, while I was making my did check my drums. There, you were tuning. Just I really cannot be bothered. There I am. Ah! There he is. Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> Levenji Tater, how are you guys doing? Doing good, bud. Doing good. How are you? Uh, surviving the heat. Attempting to, at least. Yeah. <laughs> Had a nice little tornado warning yesterday. That was fun. Where about are you? Oh, really? Uh, I am up in Massachusetts, and oh, wow. we believe it or not, we do get normally anywhere between five to six tornadoes a year up here. Wow, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. It's a little area in the middle of the state that tends to get them, and sometimes they do head over this way. There's, there's been a few times I have seen rotation in the clouds, and, you know, you get the weird green tint in the clouds, and that gets a little bit ominous. Hmm. I can't even imagine what it is like to live somewhere that gets a tornado. You know, it, it, it's kind of like just having a little bit stronger of a thunderstorm. That's really the only difference. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess I can't say that's the only difference, because you do get these massive clouds that are just... You know, they pretty much just turn it nighttime. How destructive are tornadoes, though? 
depends on how. That sounds like I know that sounds like a silly question. <laughs> but... um, it it really depends on how big and how fast they get. Needless to say, the ones out in the Midwest, uh, those ones can become upwards of over two miles long, two miles wide, have winds upwards of over two hundred miles an hour. But a lot of times, those kind of tornadoes spawn out in the middle of fields where there's not not a whole lot of people, and people really don't get hurt, thankfully. Okay. But we do get tornadoes that do move through some cities and some much smaller towns, and uh, namely, I can think of a great example, uh, the Joplin tornado back in 2003, it moved through the town of Joplin, and it basically leveled the entire town. It was over two and a half miles wide, one of the largest tornadoes in existence that we've recorded, had wind speeds of over 300 miles an hour across the entire funnel cloud, and it was moving only five miles an hour. There were places that had the tornado over them for almost two full minutes, to the point foundations were wiped clean. Wow. Tato, you're right there, mate. If you crashed. I came out, I was still having uh, issues with my this rectified uh, we're gonna find out here in a second i've just tried to just reboot it <laughs> ah, he said rectum <laughs> yeah. i mean the tornadoes we get around here they normally it's only down for maybe a few minutes or so and a lot of the times it's mostly just cloud rotation you see the funnel starting to form but it doesn't really form very well or much at all and normally it's you know, it, I mean, when you're talking wind speeds of like 80, 90 miles per hour in just one small area, yes, it can easily damage and destroy houses, but we're not talking like full on neighborhoods just completely wiped bare. Well, you see, that's what I was thinking, because I was like, if you're getting six to seven tornadoes a year, how can you have a civilized life if they're all destructive, you know, because you hear about the destructive ones. Oh, that's that's the thing about tornadoes. They're so random where they form, how they form. Well, not so much how they form. Tornado Genesis is quite well recorded, and even though we don't really quite understand what causes tornado genesis to actually happen, since there's times where you can have supercells that produce everything necessary for it, but the rotation just never happens. And then you have some storms that are small enough where they really don't have the capability or the power to form them, but somehow they do form them, so... It's, there we go. Sorry. It's odd, to say the least. You're right, Tata. Yep, I'm all fixed up. Cool. All good? All Excellent. good? Excellent. <clears throat> I think it's... So I've only been... I've lived in Florida for like seven years now. We've had one hurricane warning since I've been here. And uh, I think it's really funny that as soon as a, a hurricane or a tornado warning comes up, everyone's a meteorologist. I know, I love that. And then the the people who are, like, I like to call armchair meteorologists, that just suddenly, they they only know the warning that they put out and what the warning says, and then yeah. they're regurgitating words that they don't have a single clue about. <laughs> That's it. You've actually done a little bit of tornado chasing, haven't you, Jimmy? I, I've attempted to. We haven't had any luck actually seeing any up here, mostly because it... In the general shtick with the Northeast and its tornadoes, it's called tornado chasing in the jungle because yeah. we don't have long sight lines up here. There are some areas where you can get the highways where it's just straight shots you can see for maybe a few miles, but you've got trees on both sides of the road, you've got large buildings, and suddenly you're. It suddenly turns into a case where if you see the tornado, well, you're in some real hot water. Yeah. Oh dear. Because it's it's right around the corner. All ah, right, I got you. I got you. I mean, I'd, I definitely want to go tornado chasing out in the Midwest at some point in my life, especially now that I've gotten Mel into tornado shenanigans. And now she's a little bit less afraid after I showed her some documentaries and we saw some footage of them chasing tornadoes out in the Midwest and documenting them. So she's super into that now, which I'm thrilled about. Oh, that's cute. It was to the point we were watching uh, one Tornado Chaser channel because I, I found out she actually did enjoy the Tornado Chaser show on Discovery way back before Discovery turned into uh, Reality yeah. TV Central. 
I feel I feel like I caught one episode of that because I do vaguely remember a show about yeah chasing tornadoes. And they had a few different teams, although uh, it, it ended up going off the air after one of the tornado chaser teams had two people die on the team due to a freak tornado that was changing directions and doing all sorts of really weird stuff. One of the risks, mm -hmm. isn't it? Very rare, low mm -hmm. risk, but a risk all the same. Oh, you know, that, that's... Found that's... a purse. Ooh, nice. I found a lighter. Nicer. Ooh, I found both fuses. Excellent. Let me go put that in. Oh, hello. Hello. I mean, the biggest risk with tornado chasing isn't the tornado. It's the lightning. <laughs> I can believe that. Oh, that's... Did you ever hear... Um... I don't know if you've heard of this guy, but have you ever heard of uh, Ron White, the comedian? From I mean, it was he, he came to popularity yeah. for the Blue Collar Comedy Tour. Campus. Um, nice. No, I, I've not heard of that person. I, I've heard of Ron White, yeah. Yeah. So he had a joke where he was saying that he was in Miami, and uh, while he was there, there was a hurricane warning. And this guy, who was in his 60s, was making a point. Uh, Ouija board's obviously in the garage. I assume we've used it already. I haven't. No? I have neither. I'm upstairs checking places. Would you like the honor? Go for it. What is your favorite ah, room? Sport. Upper bathroom. Upper bathroom. Yep. Alright. <laughs> so he says, um, yeah, this guy in his 60s chained himself to a fence to prove that in his 60s his body is in such good condition that he could withstand the forces of a hurricane. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> buddy, it's not that the wind is blowing, it's what? The wind is blowing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, that's what causes most injuries, isn't it? Isn't it the debris that the tornado is throwing about is more likely to injure you than the actual tornado exactly. itself? Exactly. Yeah. In most cases, yes. But I can say that I have seen footage of the aftermath of uh, one of the largest EF5 tornadoes. And dear God, you don't want to be in that. That. Let's just say they couldn't tell. The person apart from the debris they were yeah. so mangled twisted and just degraded yeah. like it it might as well have been a bomb went off next to them and they were just liquefied are you here no answer where are I, you i am um... nice. oh spirit box oh, nice. nice i know the one thing so when i when we had the hurricane warning here we uh bailed out because we thought it was a good idea and ended up right in the path of the hurricane which is why I say everyone thinks oh. I'm a meteorologist but we ended up in the eye of the hurricane and that's probably one of the most surreal experiences I've ever ever been a part of because there's chaos around you but completely calm where you are just dead silence like a silence I've never yep. really even ex like experienced before and then you know two minutes later absolute chaos again it was unbelievable one of those things that you're like that sounds kind of cool but not when you factor in all the chaos and the devastation that precedes that two minutes yeah. of silence yeah well it's like you know <laughs> hey i'd love to see a, i'd love to see a volcano go off from a safe di from a safe distance knowing that nobody yeah. else is going to get hurt either <laughs> yeah i'd love to see a volcano go off on my tv <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I mean, that's the great thing. Uh, it was like uh, the volcano in Iceland that was going off last year. That was uh, There were multiple live streams of it, and I was actually able to watch the entire thing play out, and that was incredible to see. Yeah. Uh, well, there are two things I was going to school for, Tater. I was going to school for meteorology and also geology, which I wanted to branch out into volcanology so I could learn more about volcanoes and research them further. But uh, Oh, wow. American funding, needless to say, was not there, so <laughs> unfortunately I was never able to finish off my degrees. Oh, man. That would have been awesome. Yeah, it's one of the things, I actually wanted to double major in both those, because I wanted to, I wanted to kind of go towards a master and learn about um, all the effects that 
volcanology causes to the environment and the climate. Because, uh, needless to say, it's been numerous times in the past caused all sorts of climate shifts, climate issues. And I figure that'd be something really cool to research. Yeah. That is cool. I do at like least, that. At least then, when these things do happen, you've at least got a back... You've got at least a, 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 a good background in the actual facts of, you know... Exactly. What, what could actually happen, not just, ah, oh, it's bluey outside. But the biggest thing with any natural disaster is it doesn't matter how good your education is, there's always an element of randomness that just cannot be predicted oh, yeah. by books. Mm -hmm. And it's really only often the people who have studied that that actually, when they finish studying it, they come out with an appreciation that is actually, okay, I know a lot about this subject. But I also know that I don't know a lot about this subject. Yeah. <laughs> that is exactly how it works. You, 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 can, you can study for years and years and years, but then you get those tornadoes that just decide, we're going to break all the rules and say, fuck you. Ah, baby. I mean, baby. Someone, someone once showed me a picture of a fire tornado, and as soon as I found out that those are a real thing, <laughs> terrified. I, can't remember, I had that oh, same man. conversation with someone. I think, oh, that was me. Um, yep, nice. I think I think it was when um, Shark Tornado came out. Oh, Sharknado! Yeah, Sharknado, that's right. Yeah, Sharknado, and they were like, "Oh, wouldn't that be a really funny thing?" I'm like, "Dude, you get fire needles. Like, shark needles aren't that far away from that." It's like, "Huh, very good." Like, no, that. No, no, you literally <laughs> get tornadoes and fire. They yeah. are terrifying. They, they are very real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, All right. Is this uh, all right, let me let me be the guy to break the fun. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Firenados are land spots and not tornadoes. I know the they're not tornadoes, but they're still terrifying. Oh, yeah, no question about that. <laughs> Although, theoretically speaking, the fires in California are getting large enough where they're producing pyrocumulus nimbus clouds, which basically create their own storm fronts. Theoretically speaking, if they were strong enough and had enough energy to begin rotating, theoretically, you could have a tornado that is literally fire. Oh, God. Fire NATO confirmed. Fire NATO! Yeah. Everyone run, there's a fire NATO. <laughs> Pat, why don't we just call in a fire NATO on this house? That will solve the ghost problem. There we go. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd like to think if we just, I mean, at that point, why don't we just get a nuke and call it a day? That way we don't have to wait for fire. Okay. Oh, Guys, this is the one with the van that the text is back to front on this on the van on this map. Oh there's god a, damn it! Guys, there's a fire nato. Yeah, you think that's bad? There's a shark in it. Ah! <laughs> there's no escape. And the shark <laughs> is on fire. The shark is on fire with laser beams attached to its freaking head. And when it is thrown from the tornado, it explodes <laughs> like a megaton <laughs> bomb. <laughs> so it's a Where shark nuke nato. Yep. How Isn't that terrifying concept? Can you hear that me? That sounds like my average Tuesday. I like that the zonal EMF detector goes off while you're in the fucking van. I know, I love that. Where are you? How old are you? Still no EMF 5. Loads of EMF readings, but not 5. No fingerprints anywhere. No orbs and no haze. I'm gonna move the motion detector. Maybe. Hmm. I'll try putting it right in the doorway for the bathroom. Maybe we'll get something there. He hasn't jump scared anyone yet, which is nice of him. Now, oh, you had to point crying. that out, didn't you? Oh, hello. He's in here. Hello. What? Huh? What? He just threw the magazine at me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Avenge, I don't know if you saw in the hut. I found, due to that tornado warning yesterday, I found there is an amazing town in the state of Massachusetts known as Ashby, Massachusetts. That is amazing. Are you going to go visit Ashby in Massachusetts? Massachusetts it, uh, well, I mean, once we get the car fixed up, we'll probably end up going out there at some point and doing a little bit of tornado chasing. Or at least storm chasing, because it's easier to storm chase than tornado chase up here. 
What was moving to the States like, Tato? Because it's a move that I've been thinking about lately. Pin in the ass. Good. Thank you. You really, really <laughs> sold that to me. So I moved over... Obviously, there's different ways of doing it. I moved over through a spouse visa. Um, and... The reason why it's a pain in the ass is... It's the K, that's the K1, right? Uh, yeah. The reason I why it's a pain heard. in the ass is they don't tell you shit. Good. So, <laughs> you, you know, you do, and, it, and it's expensive as hell as well. Um, every form you touch, there's a, a dollar amount to it, you know. But you, you fill out your forms, you send it away, and they say, great, we'll be back in touch. And you're like, well, when? <laughs> we'll be in no, touch. We, we, we just will. Yeah, we just will. Yeah, that's pretty much a process right there. That's a uh, normal American bureaucracy right there with the government. I I worked for the state here in Massachusetts for a little bit. I can definitely tell you the amount of shenanigans. Uh, yeah. So then you you wait and you wait. And yeah. then for me, uh, there was um, issues with the financing. So then they got yeah. back to you and said, okay, here's what we need you to do. And by the way, it'll be another $500. Of course, because why not? Yep. Yep. And then, again, you hand it back, waiting, 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 nothing, nothing, any updates, we'll tell you when there's something, okay, waiting, waiting, waiting. Now, the, the problem for me was, I didn't have a job at the time. L literally, I got married, and when I came back to Scotland, my job, obviously I was going to be leaving anyway, but my job made me redundant um, the day I got back. So, I didn't so you were job. trying to exist without money. You couldn't get a new job because you were planning to leave. Yeah. So oh. it's like, how long? Like, do you? Can you give me anything? Like, do I need to look for a part-time job? Do I need to go on the streets? Like, what? You need. You need to give me something so I can, you know, figure out the rest of my life here. Nothing. It keeps opening all these drawers that I'm closing. Oh, I, I didn't know you were closing. My bad. I yeah. thought been checked yet. I'm, I'm doing the second sweep for items, so I, I leave all the drawers open the first sweep, and then I close them all in the second Ah, that's clever. The oh, one I, I... thing that I will say about the process is once we did get to the... Oh, sh shit right. to bed. What? You okay? Are you, are you okay? Later? We're good. We're, we're good. That's a new what one. Happened? That's a new happened? one. It just appeared, went boom, and then disappeared. Um. That wasn't like that wasn't like zombie army or anything. It was just the ghost right in front of my face. Oh. Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm tabbed out watching Tater's stream so I can see it happen. <laughs> Uh, we did check for haze and ghost orbs, right? Yeah, I did a sweep. I didn't see anything. Hmm. Speaking of words, did I... oh, and then I put. You know what? I'll do another sweep. I, oh, I yeah, that is new. I've never seen it do that either. <laughs> That's silly. Anyway, sorry, what you said <laughs> before? I so rudely interrupted by the ghost. Yeah, once you got towards that finish line, things actually did start really picking up. So. I got an interview, um, I want to say, I, I can't remember the exact day, but like before before Christmas. Okay. And then in that interview, they um, <gasps> fucking zombie. I, I, you know what? I'm not going to tell you the story. I'm not going to tell the story anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> I'm not making the zombie do that. <laughs> These bastards apparently don't want to hear my story. Um... I got it in. Or maybe they oh, all want to hear it. Or maybe, yeah, that's it. They're all they're all showing up. Um, hang on. Once upon a time, I dreamed of it, but now for me, it's a simple trinket and nothing more. Okay. Yeah. So I had I maybe had the thing in December, and um, they took they take your passport, and then by I think beginning of January, because with obviously with the Christmas holidays and everything, beginning yeah. of January. Um, Beginning mid-January, let's just say, I was good to go. 
So oh, once nice. you get to that interview stage, it picks up pretty quickly. But it's getting to that interview stage that can take a while. The whole process took... now, And there was some downtime that they had. They had a system issue or something. The whole process, right. start to finish, took about two and a half years. Ah, uh, that Yeah. How did you meet your missus, if you don't mind me asking? An AOL chat room when I was very, very, really? very drunk on New Year's Day. Love that it. That is adorable. Yeah. I love everything about that. It's like, it's, it's like, you know, I'd been drinking since, like, Christmas. I was like, <laughs> it's New Year. Let's, <laughs> let's go say Happy New Year, everyone. That's, that is amazing, dude. And then that was it. Yeah, there's a um, there's a tech center based a, in Michigan that specializes weekend. in the uh, technology that I work in, and the level of pay increase is not a little bit; it is like treble what oh, I'm wow. currently on. So significant mm. pay increase. Um, but that's also so as I'm... well. I mean, if it, but is that by is that just from the dollar amount, or like did you do the conversion? I did the conversion. It's right, travel okay. what I'm on. Oh, travel wow. what I'm on converted to pounds. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Mm. So I've been I, I've been thinking about a, m a move to Michigan Michigan increasingly as of late. Well, see that's the what thing. part of Michigan. If you do that, it would be a lot easier for you. You reckon? Doing it through a work visa? Oh, hundred percent. Oh really? Mm -hmm. That's easier, is it? Yep. Ah. Oh. You can have uh, work visas done in. Months. Hunting. Right, right. Was that hunting? Are you in danger? No. Uh, unless I can get this. No, I should be okay. Oh, I'm okay too. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. I think I'm um, not. Yeah, work visas you can get done in in months because it's all. They don't have to do the back work. They just ask your employer, like, give us all the stuff about them, and that's it. What? And then the employer does the sponsoring. Yeah, exactly. Right. Gotcha. The worst part about the worst part about the whole process, which was is something that I never thought would be the worst part, was when I had to pull my police report. I've never been in jail. Never been arrested. Never had any problem with law enforcement whatsoever. That two week period once I had submitted it and got the report back for them, I was shitting myself. Like, you were like, what do the police know about me that I don't know about myself? Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> what what if it does come back though? What what the like oh my like did have I done something? Like I was going through like oh was I involved in anything there? Did I shoot Kennedy? No. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> he started thinking of all these really stupid things. That have got nothing to do with you, but it was the most nerve-wracking part. The funniest part was the interview. They they, they try and trick you with the question, not try and trick you with questions, but they will ask you the same question two or three times. And they'll ask it in different ways as well. Well, you're, they're meant to. Not this girl though. This girl just obviously couldn't be bothered and just asked this. So she went, um, "Where does your wife work?" She said, "Oh, she works as a, a service rep at a car dealership." Oh, okay. Yeah. And what is, uh, what do you do? Oh, I'm a trainer. I train different applications and systems and da 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 da. Okay. And what does your wife do? And I looked at her and went, I know what you're doing, but you have to give it more than a question in between each of those for me to, you know, pick, like, get confused and do a different answer. So it's like, uh, she works as a car rep uh, for a, a, a car company. Yeah, we just have to see just to make sure you're not lying. I'm like, I know, but... Like, I know, but that only works if you leave some gap yeah. between the questions. Yeah. Let, give me a, give the... me a second to forget about it, not just immediately the, you know, the next question. That was the funniest part, but yeah. it's Oh, hunt, oh no, that's just an event. No, it's hunting. No, it's definitely hunting. Ah, fuck. Well done, though. You oh. got the picture. Excellent. I, I couldn't pull the crucifix out in time. Oh, you've got the other crucifix for me. Yeah, well, it's on my dead body now, so, uh... Yeah. It, it's in the <laughs> house, at least. I mean, we still don't know what this ghost is. It hasn't done I mean, We've only shit. got one... One bit of evidence. Unless I missed something. We've only got the voice recorder, right? Oh, no, sorry, spirit box it was, wasn't it? 
Uh, yeah, spirit box is all we've gotten so far. Oh, no, we got a uh, laser projection. Really? Okay. okay. I, that, I've been watching that for a while and I didn't see anything. That's cool. Did you just see that then? Right then, yep. Okay, it's Shinigami then. That's nice. Nice. Right. Oh, Good, we I'm got not... all the objectives. We got all the objectives. So, uh... I guess it's book time. Do we like to burn the items? Oh, that's that's awkward. Okay. And <laughs> I, I went to fall down the planks, and there was the locker right outside the plank. So I, I was stuck in the animation of falling while I was getting having to hit F. <laughs> Intriguing. <laughs> I've never seen that happen mm -hmm. before. Oh, he might kill me here. Three ritual candles, one bone. Can you grab a candle and a bone, please? Yeah, I think I'm dead here. Jimmy, no. Right. Jimmy, Jimmy, get you old... back to that speed. Where did you die? Uh, outside the room. Um, I died right at the top of the stairs. Oh, hello. Where did I put the paint? Uh, you put the paint right outside the bathroom. It's actually right above my dead body. Oh, I did. You are correct. Uh, the passport is also right next to you guys as well. Evidence. Uh, what am I doing? Having an existential crisis is what I'm doing. Excellent. Sort of Seth. Seth, 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 Seth. Where's the passport? Uh, right behind you. Right next to the stairs. Haha! -ha! There's also a convenient lighter right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... Do we have to do this in here? Oh! You're right. Didn't like that. Just slammed the door. Just slammed the door and then messed up his body and made a fun noise. Do we not have to burn the items? Or an item? Uh-oh. 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 You are right. We do need to burn his favorite item. Um, he's half glitched in the floor. <laughs> yeah, he can stay there. <laughs> Love this he game. Is... <laughs> uh, he's right outside the locker. I can hear him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a black ghost. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and? And I've just never seen a black ghost before. <laughs> this is a new experience for me. I feel Ghost. cultured. Ghosts come in all colors. <laughs> White, black, see through. Wait, see through's not a color. <laughs> uh, um. He did a ghost event on me at the end of the hunt, and he was still hunting. So he was there, and then he crawled to the floor at me, and then they both despawned. Huh. Yeah, I've actually found that at the end of hunts, ghosts do like a closing event. Yeah, I've noticed. Just, it's just like a screw you type of... <laughs> yeah, they're just sort of like, and now I'm done. <laughs> Ta-da! And most, most of the time it looks really silly because they do like a small event, but there are times when as the ghost hunt ends, it does like a zombie army on you and you're like, fuck off! <laughs> ah! <laughs> hunt rag! <laughs> uh, where are we doing this? Uh, we have to do it in the favourite room. Oh, great. Um, if you if you can't draw the seal there because there's not enough room, you could always use... Uh... Seal remover on the other one? That might help? I have. Um. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Come on, you bastard. I don't know if this is helping at all, but I'm <laughs> taking items out for you. I can see. That's gonna spree up some more space. Well, this this is fucking shit. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it is. It you really can't fit it there, can you? No. I've literally moved around. I've rotated it. I've done everything I can. I can't, this will not go down. Well, if it won't go down after four hours, consult your doctor. Um, 
I think I would consult the local whorehouse at that point. <laughs> the son of a cold shower just isn't gonna thanks. You want a challenge, ladies? <laughs> We're just gonna First call it then? Get... Yeah, I, I cannot for the life of me. Let's guess ghost item. Uh... Yeah, you should probably double check the ghost item before fighting with that anyways. I only saw one note which was just talking about that trinket. I haven't seen any others. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't seen any other spawn anywhere either. Okay, no, it wasn't that. It wasn't the purse, it wasn't the compass. Pick one item and burn it, and then we leave. Which one did you do? The compass and the purse. Wow, while being dead, I can't read notes. That's... That I apparently have lost the ability to read. <laughs> oh! Oh! I found where another note is! Oh! Yeah. It's... Uh, the room to the... When you're coming up the stairs, if you just keep going straight, it's in the cupboard in that room. Ah, uh, we've got the same chance regardless. 50-50, the last two are the same thing. Hey! <laughs> nice! What was it? <laughs> One of the weird people-y, circle-y head doll thingies. Uh, I'll have you know that that is the Wind Talisman from RuneScape. Air Talisman, thank you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can you complete the hunt? Because I'm eating my ramen. Which I threw over myself earlier when I got ghost invented. <laughs> Yes, I can. Wait, did you just say you pooped yourself from the ghost event? No, I threw ramen over myself. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. I ended up wearing like a quarter of a bowl of ramen because it made me jump while I was eating. That's ramen abuse. Wow. I know. Oh, I hate the waste of ramen. Especially my ramen because my ramen is fucking good. Yeah. You know, I gotta say, of all the food I've had, ramen really is not anything special to me. I, I'm really not a fan of it. Well, have you had proper ramen, or have you had American instant noodle ramen? No, I, I, I've had from, like, uh, I've gone into Chinatown and had ramen from actual decent restaurant, and it, it just, I don't know, I, I was just, I was very underwhelmed by it. You know what I bet they didn't do? What? I bet they didn't give you a homemade chili sesame oil to season it with. Probably not, because I'm not a huge fan of anything spicy. I'm very boring when it comes to my spices. My spices generally are things like basil, or a little bit of garlic, or possibly I some have... onion. Well, I hate to break it to you, none of those things are spices. Uh, they're spices, they're just not they're spicy. They're seasonings, they're not spices. <clears throat> spices, you know what? My Italian urban seasoning says Italian herbs, seasonings, and spices. So, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, take that. Yeah. We, could, uh, we could literally argue this all day. <laughs> <You know. laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> pick Hodge Road and click ready. <laughs> Oh, and add a bunch of items because. Oh yeah, shit. yeah. I was I was just about to say. Oh crap, we have like nothing. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready. I love ramen. Uh... I admittedly loved ramen way more in Japan, but. Uh... Oh, I bet. I, I'm sure it's probably great over there. First thing we it's... have. First thing we have, because we landed at like 3 o'clock in the morning, and there's a chain called Ichiran, and they're open 24 hours. So literally the first thing we had when we landed was it was like a 4 a.m. bowl of ramen. That's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so good. You were going to say something, Tater. Sorry, I kept I was talking about uh, No, I was talking to myself. You're good. Keep, 
Yeah, okay, I can't, I think it was you that said it before, saying I wish it would just pick up items without having to switch hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, annoys, yeah It annoys the shit out of me that you have to swap to an empty hand to pick something up. In the same vein, it is nice that the uh, torch isn't an item. I think that's a nice change. I, mm. I am liking that, yeah. It's just like, except for that weird phase where they nerfed the video camera, and I was doing only video camera all the time in Phasmo. Who, who chooses to not have a torch? I, I mean, I, I was doing candle runs for a while. I wasn't using... I do remember you doing <laughs> candle runs. Oh, those were good times. That was around the same time that I ditched the torch for a video camera as well. Yes, yes, it was. And speaking of that, I just found a fuse. Excellent. Let me get the lights on. Nice. We have not had much luck with Phasmophobia today, Jimmy. Nope. Oh, how bad. Uh, Tata survived three hunts out of eight. Ooh. I I died three times as well. That is most unfortunate. Yeah, I'm a little broke at the moment, yeah, from an items perspective. No oh boy. Gotta do uh. some solo asylum runs to get the money back. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, there's the Ouija board. Um me Go ahead. do some Ouija my board thing. Actually, where is it? Because I got the oomph. Um, upstairs, room next to the nursery. Okay, okay. Ask away. What? Uh, what is your favorite room? 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 You no, what is your favorite rump? Well, the subtitles for me say, like it might as well be a bomb went off next of up and they were just liquefied, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> That's what my subtitles think you said. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Master bedroom? Hmm. Master bedroom. Is that is that this room? Or is that Um this could be? I think it is. It's the boom it's the only room with a double I'll I'll check the van. Stay where you are. Yeah, this ha that has to be the master bedroom. Because there's no bedroom downstairs. Yeah, and the other room is a twin and a nursery. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite room? What know. is your... F no, he said, where are you? Same thing. Uh -huh. You sure? Uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it the same thing in this game? Uh-oh. No, see, uh -oh. that room is called bedroom second floor. Is there one the called master, master bedroom? Yeah, the master bedroom is on the first floor to the left, that room. Um, I don't know if I call that the master bedroom, but uh okay. I wouldn't call that the master bedroom, but that's what the map says. Oh, if that's what the map says, I'm willing to believe it. Are you, are here? you here? You know, Where I could call this you? the master bedroom. This is the largest bedroom in the house. How old are you? It's not working. I am horribly nice. lost. Where the fuck are the stairs? Oh, here we go. Never mind. I believe in you, Tata. You've got this. Fulfill your destiny. I did it. Great. Now the subtitles on my screen just say, what is your favorite romp? <laughs> well, answer it. Beef, um, us beef usually. I, I mean, there's always pork butt. That's always good. 
problem is with pork is it's the eternal quest to get pork that's cooked correctly. And that's that's the only downside with pork. It is quite a pain in the ass to get it just right. Oh uh, yeah, don't get me wrong. I am accepting that it is difficult, but it's it is just the worst when you order pork at a restaurant or even I'll give served pork at someone's house and it's like eating a block of wood. <laughs> okay, at that point you're you're just disrespecting pork. <laughs> you would be amazed how often that happens because people obviously they're told you can't serve pink pork, which is a pseudo truth because it actually depends on the pork's diet as to whether it's safe to serve pink pork or not. But mm -hmm. say say you want to avoid the risk, you don't want to serve pink pork. There is like a good ten minutes between pink and completely dried out that people just seem to miss. I have also noticed that. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, oh, you little bitch. Yeah, I got a heartbeat for a split second, and then it went away. I think Tater's making friends with the ghost again. I was. So it sounds it. Just appeared in front of me, gave a little heartbeat, and then breathed his way back to wherever he came from. Don't you turn off the power wall I was right good. here, you I'm looking through the video camera right now. That went really weird. <clears throat> what a jerk. He turned... Like, I'm coming down the stairs looking at the power and he just turns it mm -hmm. off on me. Have you guys found any items yet? Because I have not. I'll be honest. I've been doing more evidence -y stuff. I haven't really... I looked to kind of a few drawers in the rooms that I went in, but I didn't see anything. And there's really not a lot of drawers on this map. We have haze. Nice. Someone grab the EMF. I'm like... Um, it should be in the master bedroom still. Yeah, I know, but I'm holding the zonal EMF, so I need someone else to grab the actual EMF. Yeah, I have it. Where is it? Uh... Is that that beeping noise I hear? Yeah. Uh... Oh, it's gone. We have lost it. It was like it was like a round. Oh, 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 oh. I found a bracelet. I think it's I think it's upstairs. The EMF reading. No, it's just gone. Nice. Uh, whoever checked the twin bedroom, Mr. Compass? No, uh, I think it did that thing where some of the items didn't load in. Because I just checked a drawer that I was oh, already in. I got a uh, motion sensor, I think. Yep, motion sensor. Nice. What? It went orange. Yep. Nice. Doppler or Oni? So, two bracelets and a compass so far. Oh, we fell on that. <laughs> so Alright, la Laser projection and spirit box. That was... I didn't know it did that. That was evil. What was that? That was just rude. Um, when it did that ghost event, I, I'd taken my hand completely off my mouse to cover my face. It, lo it moved my camera up, so I was looking at it. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> fuck. Fuck. Um, I hate them all. I killed them. Only this thing will remind me of them in the deep wards of a psychiatric hospital. Compass, maybe? Um, this, uh, this camera is floating. Yes, yes it is. The camera's mm. the ghost! Don't ask questions about my magical powers for putting cameras down, please. I Bless. would never dream. 
I would never dream of doing such a thing. The less you mortals know, the better. I, I'm not questioning your ability. I'm questioning the camera's <laughs> ability. Um, have we done a freezing temps check? No. Oh, it's not freezing temps. I... Sorry, it's not a spirit box, isn't it? You did spirit box at the start, didn't you? Um, yeah, I did But not. I didn't. I didn't try very hard when I did. <laughs> well, spirit box or dots is what we're looking for. Yeah. yeah. I think you mean laser projection. I think you need spirit box response. Yeah. Oh, see, see, see what happens when you correct the evidence. The zombies get angry. Hey, I hate that one so much. I got really lucky there. I had a little bit of lag. Or a little stretch, and that happened just as that initiated. So I just got red light, and that was it. Whew. But even that was enough. Oh. Wait, why can I not find this fucking room anymore? I can't admit, this game is growing on me over Phasma because it does, like, genuinely scare you more. Oh, wait, the yeah. room's downstairs, idiot. Oh, I didn't know it, I didn't know it could break pipes. Can it? Oh, I thought the plate was already broken. Oh, maybe. Maybe I've just never noticed it. Very possible. My entire life might have been a lie up to this point. Oh, I've got a... Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. This is this. It might be this item, you know. What'd you find? Uh, the creepy bird. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna yell it. My guess is gonna be creepy bird. Creepy bird, creepy, creepy bird, creepy bird, creepy, creepy bird. Is it you, Mr. Creepy Bird? We're about to find out. I don't have a lighter. I got one. Well, you're. Fine. Remember, there's always a lighter with all the ritual items. I know. I'm just gonna get it. I've got a lighter. I think this game really gets to Sarah because he never wants to play this. Are you here? Well, he doesn't want to uh, play this? Oh, yeah, yeah, this, this really. Uh, this what? really gets him. I missed. Where are you? Oh, I missed again. This is Where a are you? annoying. Come on, okay, Footprints. It was, it was not Creepy Bird, so I will bow out for the remaining two guesses. How old are you? Jimmy, that's rude. Has it moved, do you think? You... I'm... No. no, because we I've seen it set off the motion sensor in here. How old are you? Talkie box is not resp whoa, what whoa, what? Are you don't know because we don't have seen its soft motion sensor in here. Are you how old are you? I need to call an ambulance what? for you, mate. That's uh... <laughs> help. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> oh, there's a second. There's a second note. This might inform your decision. The junk that I inherited. I would not say that it is suitable for the collection. It looks more like old junk. This junk looks like old junk. You're here. So, what are the other options? Where are you? Fuck you. Fuck you. Is that so one of the hard. options? Fuck everything about you. Oh. Damn you, ghosty. Damn you. Where are you? You here? Do you want me are to try the young? spirit box? Because if you're. Uh, subtitles are telling you what it thinks you're saying. Yeah, go mm. for it. I've, I've only gotten it to say no answer twice after everything I've asked it. Where are you? 
How old are you? Are you close? Oh, fuck you. Are you friendly? <laughs> Alarm clock. Are you near? Are you old? Are you friendly? Are you child? Are you, are child? you child? Are you... One in a million. Are you ever going to talk to me? Are you ever going to let me go? Papa, you, can you hear me? Do you really want to hurt me? <laughs> do you really want to make me cry? Do you really want to make me cry? Do you really want to give me up? No, do you really we, want to let me down? We're never going to give you up. Oh, was that laser? Yeah, I don't think it's spirit box. Hey guys. What? We've witnessed a paranormal phenomenon. Nice. We have? Really? What was, what was that? Oh, is that probably the big jumpy red thing? I don't know. It's just what the board says. I'm not a ghost, I'll never do that again. Don't lean on the table. You're not allowed to cry. Boomerang. Oh, that's a hunt. hunt. It's hunting. Who's inside? I am. Jimmy. Okay. Patel. I mean, I'm upstairs in the nursery and I don't even hear it. I need you to do the needful and pick up three ritual candle. Whoa, the haze is in there. That's weird. Or you could just stay normally and look at the haze. Well, well, we're not going in right now. Are you in a rush? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what does one require? Uh, three candles. And? The correct ghost item to be banned. Huh? Um, Would you like me to attempt my magic to figure out what the ghost item may be? Well, I'm curious as to why you know what the ritual is if we haven't got the ghost, so why don't you talk us through that? Because I trusted you when you said it's not the spirit box? Is that a crime? Yeah, you should know that by Apparently. now. <laughs> you should really know that by now. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? We all die, so what? Oh, it's hunting again. Ah, oh, fuck. You dead, Jimmy? Not yet, but this is not good. I'm stuck on the stairs. Must be hunting from a different room. No, it's coming nope, out the nope, master nope. bedroom both times. I don't see it on camera. Oh, I'm dead here. Oh yeah, there he goes. Yeah, it got me. It opened up my cubby and uh, mm. it knew where I was. Oh. No. Nope. Well, yes, you did. Yes. You... That's the cursed item, Peter. You did witness the footprint in the salt pile, though, so... Excellent. I helped. Uh, where's the items? Front door? What? Yeah. I'm not a ghost, I'll never do that again. Don't lean off on the table. Well, oh, did we get this? Oh, it's all about it's junk to me now. And, da, da, da. Uh, and what did you Ooh, throw out? Around. What did what? you try and burn? What did you try and burn? The wooden crow. Okay. Nope, that's not where it goes. <gasps> Excuse me. <gasps> what are you guessing? Compass. God, I'm having really bad luck today. Dead again. Or dead in the minigame as well. Yep. Nope. Ouch. It was great. Uh, got one dead end with blue door. Wrong door. Got me there. Happened a second time. Third time was when I was falling because, yet again, she spawned from a cubby where the vertical planks were to fall to the floor. <laughs> well, that happened and... again. Yeah, that's... 
the second time I've seen that, I, I don't like that. And the last time was just at a dead end, and she just got me, and that was that. Oh, we're not exiling the ghost. Oh, well. Oh, you guys didn't guess it? No. Lame. Do you want to perform a protect, uh, draw a protective sign in the room and then at least get that one really quick? Okay. You ain't allowed to cry, boomerang. I don't know. I can confirm you have indeed drawn a protective sign in the ghost's favorite room. Yes. Come back to us, Jimmy. I must we come call back. thee from the grave. Oh, we were wrong. It was an Oni. So it was a spirit um. Wow. See, so told you. Wow. You shouldn't have trusted me. Oh, well. yeah. Nobody yeah, died. That's not bad. Nobody died. Well, Jimmy died. No. <laughs> Get a refund on the dying, please. No. No. You have already enjoyed the product. You cannot refund a product that you've already enjoyed. Unless I played it for less than two hours. What do you think this is? A fair platform? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think we've got everything. Yeah, we've got everything. Yeah, looks good. Boom. Let us away. Fulfilling our destiny. Do -do. <laughs> Wait, fulfilling your destiny of doo doo? <laughs> yep. Stay safe on your hunt. Couldn't think of uh, two more syllables to close out that sentence. So I got doo doo. Well, I mean, uh, like the old saying, poop is poop backwards. Poop is poop backwards. God is just dog backwards. Thank you. Did you know the boob is also boot backwards? Mm. I think my calculator taught me that. <laughs> my calculator taught me boob less. <laughs> yeah, everyone had that one kid that thought he was a genius because he could write boob in a calculator who was then probably shown up by the slightly more immature kid who thought mm. putting a five on the end. Yeah. So it says boobs. <laughs> And it was then, then was showed one... up by the other kid who figured out that if you added a one and a three, you had boobies. <laughs> oh, damn it, you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> that was how uh, you were de it was decided whether you were cool or not. I mean, my school. It was how, how far down the boob on a calculator spectrum you got. <laughs> <laughs> then, then there was that kid that had the graphing calculator that he could also play Super Mario Brothers on. That's it. <laughs> I, I wasn't that kid, not at all. I don't know what you're talking about. I remember trying to figure out what the sign costs and tan buttons did. Bearing in mind that this was, you know, in primary school. Long before you learned trimming trig and all the yeah, fun Yeah, long before of anything to do with trigonometry. But I was like, what the fuck do these mm. buttons do? It just makes random numbers appear. And then you get a syntax error. And you're like, what the fuck is syntax? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, I don't remember the number syntax error. <laughs> what the fuck is a syntax? I think I broke yeah, it. What I have is another your one? favorite room? Kitchen. Also, I'm amazed that it answered because the subtitles that said, "Is there a guy in your favorite room?" <laughs> <laughs> um... No, he's in the kitchen. Oh. Well, thank you for your response, Ghosty. That was very kind of you. Where is your passport? Oh, didn't like that. Where um... is your passport? Um, um, I. I've got a small compass. Where is your passport? It's not the size that matters, mate. L I living room. I can get that. I can get that. 
top pot in the living room. Oh, I found a compass and a purse in the living room. Very nice. And the promised passport. Nothing's better than the first time me and Riley played this, and he asked the ghost where the passport was, and it just spelled out, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I've been sworn at by the ghost before as well. I've not been sworn at yet. I want to be sworn at by a ghost to right, ghost. Yeah. It does all sorts. It'll tell you to run away. It'll say it kills you. Or it will tell you to... Uh, it will say fuck you. It will also ask you to leave it alone. It will say leave me alone sometimes as I've well. I've never had any yep. of that. All my responses have always been good. Or like, you know, accurate. I think it's dependent on your sanity. Because most of the time I get them is towards the end of a hunt. As opposed to right at this uh, time. okay. Okay, so we've got two of the tiny compasses and a purse so far. And a partridge in a pear tree. Oh. Um, uh, you're a couple days off from Christmas in July. <laughs> no, it's July. No, no, Christmas in July. That's July 25th. Is it? It is. My, uh, back Why is my that parents... your thing? What is well... Christmas in July? It, it depends on the store, but uh, one particular store, uh, my parents' store that they used to own when I used to be a manager for it, and I used to make jewelry and teach classes. But uh, long story short, on July 25th, we would decorate the entire store like Christmas, and we would have a Christmas in July sale, and it would be Christmas and Santa themed, and we would have shit tons of people show up for it, because apparently Christmas in July was a big deal. Hmm. That's kind of cool. A little bit nerdy, but kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it was fun up until the store was nice and cold with AC, and I was in a tent out front selling things because, you know, we were selling things in a tent out front, and somebody had to keep track of everything. Where are you? Here. I wish. Are you, are here? you here? What, what do, you, do want? you want? Can we, Can we help, help you? you? Are you Are child? You child? <laughs> nope. Kicking the shit out of that thing. Give, Give me, a, me sign. a sign. Are you, Are you here? here? Oh. Oh, infrared. Oh, I heard that. But where's the thing? Beep. What? Where's the actual infrared? Right oh, over here. <laughs> and apparently walking through it makes it go green again. That's Good all we've got, right? Infrared? Yep. So I thought I saw dots for a second then, but I could just be making it up. We'll check the van. Now that's interesting. Uh, despite getting the orange infrared. We have not detected the ghost movement with a motion sensor. Hmm. How about now? now we... There we go. <laughs> that's that's interesting. If it interacts with it, it doesn't actually count as that. It has to manually walk through it. So Yeah, which huh. is now just done twice. Too many candle and salt in there now. So that must mean that the red... Uh, the orange light is not it going through, so not relative to the ghost movement, but actually it being within the ghost's range to interact with. Like yeah. It's an interaction and not it just saying it off. Yeah, exactly. That's unexpected and kind of cool. Yeah, it's interesting. I showed uh, Tate of the DLL injection for Phasma today, where you can see the ghost. Amazing. <clears throat> I say it's a little creepier. It can be. It can be, depending on the model you get. <laughs> you notice a, a lot oh, more how uh, ugly the ghosts actually are. Did you get yeah. a response there? I did. What was that? that is, or? What's, no, the uh, whatchamacallit thingy. The recorder? Voice yeah, recorder, the recorder. Yeah. Got it on the second question. Which means it can't be dots. We're looking for uh, 
Ghost orb or traces of ectoplasm. Neither of which I particularly enjoy looking for. Uh, uh, the problem with the fingerprints on this map in the kitchen is there's nowhere for it to leave it in the kitchen. I did a sweep for orbs off the bat and I didn't see any. God, I'm so glad to receive this gift. I can finally beat my friend in this incomprehensible incompre race. On Monday, he will die of envy. Because of a compass? Oh, is that a hunt? No. Uh, oh. No. Oh my god, it's a fat guy. It's a shirtless fat man. Sir, please oh, put it, on a shirt. Is it the shirtless one? Yes, it's the shirtless fat guy. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I hate him. Oh, I don't have a lighter. Um, I've put a candle in the kitchen if anyone has a lighter that would like to light it. Hello, guys? No, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm out of breath. <laughs> It just went really quiet there. That was really quite creepy. <laughs> Love how I can turn the candle on and off. <laughs> oh, that's a hunt. Uh oh. Give me hey. danger. He came I'm, from the front door. I don't know. Yeah, he wasn't in the kitchen. As I, I was in the kitchen when that hunt boy, started. Boy, I... come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There you go, I got you, I got you, I got you. You're fine. Are we, are we good? Yeah, 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 I got you. Okay, okay, we're good. Yeah, and yeah, he did spawn upstairs. Yeah, the problem with this house is there are not enough doors for it to leave fingerprints on. I mean, it spawned upstairs. It might touch the door. It's hunting. Oof, I just got it just in time. I'm trying to go into the wrong house again. I saw that. <laughs> I did witness a footprint in the salt pile, you lying sack of shit. I literally stood there for that exact reason. Is it still hunting? You, yeah, are you guys outside? Still, I'm yeah. outside, yeah, it's still hunting. Okay. You lying some of my bitch. I even have it on stream that I saw it do that. Hey, Hold on. Server. This is an aggressive little bastard. Ghost orb. Ha, huh, nice. Excellent. A debuck. What did you call me? What is it you, you call me? Face? What did you just call um, me? Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> I might rewatch that film actually. Always a good classic. I think we're talking about different films, but yes, I will agree. Wait, what? Wait, what are you talking about then? The Love Guru. No, oh, I was talking about Kindergarten Cop. <laughs> okay. Those are both equally mm. bad but great movies. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. <laughs> No, that, uh, what is it you can't face? That's from Love Guru. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is it you can't face? What did you say to me? <laughs> oh, it set the, uh, infrared off orange again. 
Walk hmm. through the salt, you fat bastard. Get in my belly. Mm. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, I think this is the cursed item. Well, find it then. Test your theory. Test yeah, your crackpot yeah. theory. Come on. Come on, crackpot, mm. work your theory. Just rotating the camera does more damage with earthquakes all over again. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, it's not this again. Yeah. Ah, ah. Sometimes so, Tater, the what I did. Are being watched. Well, the activity gauge right next to the map. Mm -hmm. The thing is that when you're holding the cursed item, the activity gauge will continuously rise. Hmm. It, it, I don't have, it's not a 100% chance for it to work. I've gotten it to work sometimes, but every time I have seen it raise the activity and I've burnt it, it has been right. You're three for four, if you're curious. Yeah. I've yes, been keeping yes. track. Before I before I admitted into theory, I've been keeping track of your success rate. Excellent. <laughs> you're what three for, you're what three success for rate does he have to get to? It's more data points. If it stays as good as like 75% over a large number of data points, then it's probably correct. Oh, soggy he's, biscuit. He's upstairs moaning. Yeah, he's playing, he's playing soggy biscuit. I've had those days. What, where you're playing soggy biscuit? Yes. For fuck's sake. <laughs> So, what brings you here? Oh. oh, hello. Okay. Well, good thing I had a crucifix in my hand. <laughs> um, <laughs> Did he say hello to you guys? He, he just opened those. He just opened those doors wide. He was like, mm -hmm. "Say hello." <laughs> oh, he I it. got a crucifix. <laughs> like, okay, I will eat your crucifix. No, we witnessed a footprint in the salt pile. Fuck you, tasks. I think there's a delay between when it happens and when it ticks up on the board. Yeah. Because I've had that happen as well. All right. Is it crucifix -y time? Or oh, crucifix exile time? It is yeah, exile time. Is. Would you like the honors? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I will relight your candles. Okay. Um, we are Dibbuk, which is Hisogal, which is four ritual candles and both rooms. I've got the four candles. I've got both rooms. Anywhere specific? Um, I need someone else to spray the sigil of Ameth in wherever we're going to do the hunt, which I imagine will be upstairs. Um, I ha All my items are full. I've got all the virtual stuff. Oh. Uh-oh. Is he hunting? Uh -oh. Oh, yeah. yeah, he is. is. Is anybody in the house? I'm in the house. Major is... No, uh, good luck with that. I think I should be alright. I was halfway up the stairs when he started. Up there. Is he still coming from upstairs? Hey, he just turned it orange during the hunt. That's cool. Didn't answer my question, though. No, I was I was halfway up the stairs when the hunt started, and he he was downstairs. Okay, he did. That guy's just... Stairs. He's just walking back and forth in front of the door here. Yeah, I saw... Right, let's it. go. Uh, door. Door. Door, please. We're just going to do it in the top of the landing here. Uh, I wouldn't do it here because I'm a bit worried he has a line of sight. Probably do it further back, like here. Oh, do you want to drop uh, drop your lighter when you're done? <laughs> 
and I'll light, relight them for you. And I won't be able to relight them. David, David Anderson. Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Uh, that's a bottle. I got it. Thank and a candle, so. I'll take the biggest one. Yay. It's hunting, it's hunting, it's oh, hunting, shit. it's hunting. Uh, I'm dead. No. Nah, he came and said hello. How did he get in here without going through us? Interesting. Oh yeah, he just walked right past us, yeah. Interesting. Sorry, Jimmy. Yeah, oh well. The great the greatness of Christ, of Christ commands, commands you. you. The grass of Christ command ye. The greatness, the greatness of, Christ of Christ commands, commands you. you. The grass of Christ. Christ. Is that what they call, uh, call uh, cannabis, cannabis these days? I don't know. Portal. Oh, shh. A portal and a hunt. In the, In name, the name and goodness, goodness of our, of our Lord. Lord. Um, I don't have any portals I can go through that aren't already red. Drop down what? level. What happened there? Yeah, I'm, it killed me. Whatever. You are not having good luck tonight, are you? Well, what happened is sometimes the port, the blue door, can be one of the doors on the first floor, and if you fall down before checking them, then you're pretty much screwed. Interesting. That's that's what happened to me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, did like a another portal e open or something? Yeah, there's a shadow of portal by the front door. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there it is. I can confirm. I shouldn't stand here. Let's go Let's into go the light. light. No, you go into the light.
Ruh -ruh. That's a hunt. Oh, you got me. Ah, oh, I saw that. The fat man knew where you were. He did. Yeah, I'm out. Hey. I am a hero. You died in a very awkward position. Don't worry about it. It's a little concerning. Well, I won't begrudge you if you want to cow it out and uh, just uh, leave. Well, I don't think I can do anything anyway. I don't have the book. The book's just here. Here? I hear you knocking, I still don't see a book. Well, that's because you haven't gone to where I'm knocking. <laughs> a book! There you go. Yeah. I got this, fellas. Okie dokie, no problem. I won't go to that. I believe in you. Don't get zombie on me. It's not annoying at all, Jimmy. Who wants to destroy the whole <laughs> demon sect? Damn it. What's up? Shadow Paul. Oh, I've never been in one of these before. Oh, you don't baby. To, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. What do I do? What do um, I do? It, what do I do? It's upstairs. It's uh, the room right behind where you're doing the ritual. So what do I have to do? Um, you have to navigate the shadow room without touching any of the shadows and avoiding the old lady. If you hear the old lady's laughing, it means she's near you. If she talks to you, it means she's seen you. And you can't outrun her. She will. She runs faster than you if she knows where you are. Yeah, the whole idea is she's blind. But if you touch one of the shadows, they will scream and tell, and she will run to their location. You're looking for a small white glowing orb. Sometimes, but not always, the room that the orb is in has like a faint glow to direct you. When you see that orb, you go up to it, you hold the voice command, and you say, let's go into the light. These are, these are all right. These aren't as bad as they seem when you read about them. In How the, the fuck yeah. are you meant to do this? What do you mean? Oh, okay. What's up? I just, the whole room was really dark. And I'm like, well, this is all a fucking shadow. How do I do this? Yeah, because you're in the shadow portal. It's the oh. world of shadows. Oh, don't like that. What? What did you do? Something was crawling at me. Oh! Ah! Um. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. There's nowhere I can go. If the shadows do move, eventually. Sometimes you just gotta be patient. Oh, okay. Let me, let me refresh your stream and see what I can see. Oh, yeah, it's got a 30 second delay in it, so you're not gonna be able to help with much. I don't. Well, this is the fucking dead end bathroom. Fuck off! Ah! Yeah. No, I don't like it in here. <laughs> I get the right at the front door. <laughs> I just saw what scared you. <laughs> you're okay. You're okay. You can sneak past them. Bullshit! There's two of them. Yeah. Hope. There's actually three of them, you can't it's, see the third one. Yeah, right I just saw it. I just saw it. Oh, pest the fuck. No, 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 bad shadowy bitch. Alright. Ah! Ah! 
Oh no! No no! No no! Oh, uh, it's talking to me. Oh god, I don't like that! No, fuck that! <laughs> uh oh, that's the bad noise. <laughs> they need to fix this shit, we're all dead. Big swat shit. This what? What shit do they need to fix? This me being in the fucking maze thing. Yeah, whether you clear it or not, it affects your insurance. Oh, for that's fuck's sake! That's why you sake. still do it. <laughs> well, I wish I'd known that before I just let it kill me. Wow. That, I don't like that fucking lady woman thing. No, I'm not a fan of the Shadow thing. World. Shadow World's alright once you get used to it. That fucking weird lady twitching her ass all the way over to you. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, basically, she's more or less blind. I think her vision radius is like three meters or something stupidly low. But those um, shadows act as like an echolocator for her. They mm. scream and she runs to wherever they are. Which sometimes is important. Like in certain areas, she could be like at the top of the stairs. In which case, you need to go and touch a shadow and then run and hide and then go ar around because she won't be at the top of the stairs anymore. Yeah. Uh. When she's humming to you, it's creepy, but when she talks to you, it's fucking terrifying because you know she's seen you. <laughs> really bad when she talks to you. She's, um, just, she's just proclaiming her love for you. Yeah, right. yeah if, only, if only. Like this guy says when I'm buying something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't wait to use that. <laughs> Can't wait to use that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I like the judgmental hmm as well. Like, not what I would have thought. <laughs> but... You haven't even got a flashlight. Why are you buying a sound sensor? What? He, that hmm. It's like he's going, you haven't bought a flashlight. Oh, yeah. Why are you buying a sound sensor? <laughs> hmm. Not what I would have chosen, but yeah, fair enough. Doing... It's a lot more, a lot more Kirby-esque this one because he actually just judges everything. <laughs> <laughs> so you have chosen death. Uh, right. We've got everything important. Looks like it. Does anyone remember the name of the house that we were just on? I think it was the mysterious house. Yeah. So I have absolutely no way of checking if I've just selected the same house again. Because unlike Phasmophobia, these building, these properties do not have meaningful names that make it easy to remember them. Okay, this looks different. This is different. Okay. Yeah, I... Have we done this one before? Pass. I don't feel I... like I have. I don't remember running over to the tent over here. Stun a ghost, oh. blow a candle, crucifix, active sign. Maybe I found a secret secret house. Secret house? You can only play in this house when you have all died. <laughs> it's the failure house. <laughs> so where the ghost is just standing in the room waving at you. I'm here and here's all the evidence you need. Thanks. Thank you. No, I figured it was just the ghost laughing at us. Oh, yeah, I have been in this house, like, once. Oh, this place, okay. Intriguing. I will open all your shit up. Ah, um, that's not. Ah! <laughs> I heard that. Dick? Oh no, fa oh, oh, I'm stuck, guys, what? help. Close the drawers. Oh. Oh, the first drawer opened had the passport. He just trapped himself between two drawers. <laughs> Amazing. Very funny. 
good. Basement. That's where I love to be. Oh, Ouija board. Nice. Do you want to ask it what its favourite room is, Tater? What is your favourite room? Don't you fucking start with me. What is your favourite room? <laughs> Office. Office. The Office. Yeah, this is the one with that little door at the bottom of the basement on the end that it tried to trap you in once with the crying baby. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I think we've only ever done this map like once before. Where is Ufus upstairs? Can you? I don't no, to be honest. I did find a fuse. I really, I don't know this map. I've played, uh, like I said, I wasn't exaggerating when I said me and Jimmy have maybe played this once before. I found a bracelet. Oh, this I'll has got to be the, the office uh, in here, where you just were. I'll check the taunt. Oh, yeah, that probably is, okay. We will check the taunt. Yeah, this has got to be the office. If that's not the office, then I don't know what is. With some um, very the office is the office is upstairs. Oh, am um, I in it? Um, second door on the right. Uh, you might be in it. Let me check your color. No, I don't know. You might be in it. Who's in the tent with me? I am. Okay, then yes, you're in the office. Okay, so it was that one then, Jim. Yeah, that's the office. All right. How wide is this fucking house, though? That's yes. what she said. Hey. What, lads, lads? Write in the book and show yourself on dots, and then we can go home or set off the car alarm. Bad car, stop that. <laughs> Where are you? Are you? How, How old, old are, you? are you? Are you are here? here? Oh, don't you touch that door. Where, Where are, you? are you? Oh, it touched the door? What door? The office door. Let me come check it. Nothing on that side, nothing on that side. Where nope. are you? Nope. Uh, traces of ectoplasm. Nice. nice. Where are you? Are you here? I'm going to bring the spirit box up to you guys, and then I will do a uh, haze and dot sweep. Don't haze the ghost, that's mean. Oh my god, you're such a slut! Stop it! <laughs> She's now angry crawled at me three times. Where she are you? She loves you. How old so are I you? I called her a slut. Talk to me. Where are you? How old are you? Give me a sign. I found a heart locket. Alright, let's go dot hunting. Around a house, I have no idea which way I'm pointing or where everything is, but let's go anyway. It'd be really nice if Haze just appeared right in front of me, right? Front door. So there's a bracelet and a heart pocket. Okay. Yep. Oh, fuck off. Interesting, she only locked one of the doors left. Yeah. Huh. What, she do the crying baby up there? No, crying woman instead. But she, ah. she did it in the room with the big double doors and she only locked one of the doors. We... So you could just go out the other door. <laughs> Amazing. We <laughs> have... Um, Orby Orbs. 
Excellent. We'll say that with more confidence. Orbs. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So voice recorder or, or writing. um ghost writing, yeah. And we do have a book in there. And I did the Mine. Oh I okay, didn't do well. I didn't do the recorder though if we did the spirit box, didn't we? I did the recorder, I got no response, but it's worth someone doing it again. We then need to hope that we get the correct uh, ghost item. I've only seen two so far. I haven't seen any others. I burned one and it wasn't that. Hmm. Iolo Where burned are the Winchester. How old are you? Are you friendly? No. Are you close? Where yeah, are I'm you? I'm going around closing all the open drawers now in like the second sweep. Yeah, I saw that. That's why I stopped playing with them. How old are you? Are you friendly? Are you close? Yeah! Where are you? <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you, ghost. Where are you? How old are you? Well, I mean, you did ask. Oh, no. Where are you? I also don't know why my How I'm scared you? sound is the same as a Japanese cat girl. What? Where are I was you? very aware that when it scared me, I went, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Where are you? Once upon a time, I dreamed of it. But now for me, it is a simple trinket and nothing more. Interesting. Please do not throw your paintings at me. I would greatly appreciate that. Write in the book. No, you write in the book. Not you write in the book. My life. You write in the book. Ha, ah, take that ghost. I played with the light switch. And that was you. Where are you? Are you... Is, there a, number of, is there a limit to how many lights we can turn on? No. I don't think so. How old? Where are you? How old are you? Are you close? Give me a sign. Talk to me. Where are you? How old are you? Are you close? Um, you having fun, Tata? No. Why not? Well, it's not talking to me, and it's not writing in the damn book. Have you tried no. asking it nicely? Ah! Oh, God. Please write in the book. <laughs> Oh, you could. I could draw a sign in the ghost room to make it so it might do something. Please. please uh, have we got the spare paint for that. That's like what I'm going to go check. We'd like our objectives. Uh, draw an active sign in the ghost's favorite room. Okay, cool. Would you like me to leave? Are you happy I'm here? No. <laughs> what is your favorite movie? Will you write in the book? Uh, my favorite movie is probably Warriors. It's a classic. How old are you? Where are you? Are you close? Are you angry? Are you old? Although in recent years, I was very impressed with uh, Joker. Oh yeah, you yeah, had you had to be impressed with Joker. That's fantastic. Oh, go straight in. Wow, that was perfect. I also learned that you can draw the activity sign on the ceiling. Nice. Yeah, you can put it anywhere. You can put it on the side of the walls if you want to be fancy. 
Oh, that, I put it on the ceiling to be even fancier. <laughs> Closing drawers to look for other items. Do you want to try your trick with the items that we already have and just see if anything comes up? Did we find anything more? Because I already tried it with the two I found. And it came back inconclusive. Intriguing. Hello. Oh, she's not crawling towards me. She went for someone else. Um, okay. That... I saw her crawl into me, but it sounded like it was on the other side of the house. It was very quiet. That was weird. Yay, tomato in a cupboard. Woo! Hamster on a piano. Hamster on a piano. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's going up. Yeah, it's looking like it might be the locket. Piano. Eating popcorn on a piano. Hamster on a piano. There's hamster. only one hamster in song, and that's the hamster dance. Hamster on a piano. Nah, hamster on a piano is far superior. It is literally a hamster on a piano eating a piece of popcorn. No, wider. Oh, I think I've got one. Nope. Uh, there'll be one over here with the ritual stuff. Oh, you fucking shit, fucking white stain. Zombie army. What? No, uh, bloody room. Mm. Ah, flesh. In... There you go. Oh, oh. All right. Not a fan of that. Mm. So, uh, that's four out of five. Yep. Ooh, it went to eighty percent. Um, I like it. I'm doing pretty good on those. Did somebody already what? pick up the what? Exile book? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. That was supposed to be like, uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Do you still have the lighter on you? Yes, yes, I do. Do you have a candle in there? Yeah, I'm about to. Three ritual candles, one skull, sigil of Ameth. So someone get some paint, paint the sigil of Ameth. Are we going to do the ritual? Uh, well, if it's upstairs, uh, does it matter where we do it? Does it just say anywhere? Draw a seal in any room. Um, let's see. Uh, could do it in the kitchen. That gives us the basement to run down to. Okay. Hamster on a piano. Uh, what do we need? Uh, Astaroth? Uh, a meth. Ah, a meth. Excellent. Meth addict confirmed. Alright, dolls. It? It's in the kitchen. Hello. Let's need a skull into three condoms. One, two. That's all I could bring. You got two. So you need one more candle? Yeah. One candle, one skull. So we got those for you. Have we got a passport? Yes, I have the passport. Would you like to have a go at the exorcism, Jimmy? Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? There you go. Uh, where is Jimmy. the motion sensor? There's what? one upstairs. I didn't see it upstairs because I was going to set it up um at the bottom of the stairs. That way we have at least some leeway if the ghost is wandering around. I put it on the inside, on the uh, to the. So as you walk in, like look on your left hand side on the on the door on the wall next to the door, it should be there. there I can that confirm on the map it shows that in the office. Exactly where Tata has described. Tata, come grab the directional yes. mic. Okay, okay. Or you can hold the urn. It's up to you. Uh, you got the urn, I'll grab the mic. Beep. Did you not pick up the book, Jimmy? Uh, where's the book? Is it in the kitchen? Front, front door on the floor. Oh, front door, okay. Front door on the floor. Front door on the floor. Uh, 
Scarlett Johnson. You are just a butt munch. No one <laughs> likes a butt munch, and you're so, so bad in bed. Scarlett Johnson! What is that from? Friends. Uh -huh. Is it? Yeah. Scarlett Johnson. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the when Monica's dating the dino ah, guy, right? Sakes. Yeah. Downstairs, Jimmy. Basement. In the basement? Alright. You are such a butt munch. No one likes No one likes a butt munch. <laughs> and you're all so bad in bed. <laughs> I'm with you in the world of shadows, Jimmy. You got back up. I Thank am you. not. Oh, fuck. Screw you guys. I'm staying here. <laughs> this, this is bad. No. What can you okay. possibly do with backup? Um, the opposite of what I just did, in theory. Oh. Who, who's and today I learned that you can turn the power on and yeah. off in the spirit realm. Yes, you yep. can. That was very weird. With the second person in the shadow realm, you can pull the ghost to a specific location. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. But unfortunately, I actually um, spawned on top of a shadow. Which meant the second that I entered the realm, it screamed, and me and Jimmy are now both just trapped in the basement. I don't see her or hear her. No, but I also don't see the shadow that screamed and caught me I, the first time. I hear it. I don't know where he went. Oh, he's there. He's about to touch you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I backed away. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna... I'll do the... Uh, yeah. Shit. Oh, she's so fast. That's so fucking fast. Uh, this is less than ideal. Jimmy, we're in a bit of trouble here. <laughs> Maybe slightly. Do I need to an come advantageous in? position. Do I need to come no, in and sacrifice? No, it's... Honestly, if you come in right now, she'll just kill you because she's literally on the entrance to the portal. <laughs> he will just <laughs> straight up kill you the second she sees you. I don't hear her. I do. I hear her humming. Oh, I thought that was you humming. I'll type Jimmy, I'll scout ahead. It's so lonely here in the living world. <laughs> I wish I had some. Uh, let's, let's go into, into the light. Nice. Despawned yeah, all was, the, all the it was immediately. Lit it was literally just at the top of the thing. Yeah, so it is. <laughs> I know. That was lucky. I just turned the corner because I could hear her humming, which is why I scouted ahead. I was going to find her location for you. But the orb was right there, so I just... Excellent. Orbed it. Okay. Do continue. Anyways. Rumble in fear. Candle. Oh, wow. When call the name of Christ. I say, when call the name of Christ. At the sight of which hell trembles. Yeah, I'm sure that's a coherent sentence to someone. <laughs> At the sight of which hell trembles. Hunt, 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 hunt. Uh oh, I can't get into this locker. Wait. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. Uh -oh. um. 
Come, come on the far side. There we go. Yeah, you can't get in it on the near side. What the fuck? I, I think the door just wasn't open enough, and I think it was glitching because glitchy door. Because reasons. Because raisins. That was a bit close. I'm still it was, but it didn't make it. Yeah, it's fine. That's just the event. Oh. Um. There we go. You struggling to get out your locker? I couldn't. Uh, there was no distinguishing marks. It was all just grey. I couldn't figure out which way was the <laughs> exit. Scarlett Johnson. Kind of. Another one? God damn it. Uh, in here, in garage. Bye, guys. It's right there in front of us. Uh, see. Another one right there near the couch. Careful. I'm going right. I'll check basement for you. Okay, there are two of them right behind the couch. I can't go that way. Okay. Shit. What's up? I heard her. I heard her running. She is such a butt munch. There you go, I pulled her to me. I pulled her to me. Cool. See if that helps. Where did you go? Basement. Okay. Can I take it? Nothing down there? Nothing in the kitchen, nothing in the basement. I did pull the old lady down here, though, so she will be coming from that direction. That's fine. I can pull her back down again if it helps. Might need to. Okay, hold on. God, there are so many of these freaking shadows on the stairs. Okay. Pull her back down here. There we go, got it. You got it? Cool, nice. Good. Yep. Whew. It was at the top of the stairs, and there were three shadows just chilling on the stairs. Oh, it's useful having more than one person in there. Yeah, yeah, it is. That, that makes it a lot easier. Excellent. As you were. Oh, time for the good part of the soul. Alright, Taito, you're up, mate. What do I do? You know what you're doing? Nope. You're looking for a blue dot yeah. on the parabolic microphone. Oh, it went away. Does it move? No. Nah. You might need to uh, kind of rotate a little bit slowly. Sometimes it'll disappear and sometimes it won't. Um, It'd be floor some... dependent as well. Yeah, so sometimes you might see it briefly here. when you're going up and down the stairs. Right here. I don't know how close or anything I need to be. This is 0 0.39. That's close enough. Uh, Jimmy, have you got the spray? Yep, got it. Should be Ashakut, I think. Mm-hmm. One Ashikut. Oops. Uh, just hit E on the middle. There you go. Yeah, no, that was me missing the E key. Oh, I, I thought that was Tater. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, before we were so rudely interrupted. Um, oh, for fuck's sakes. How's it going? You know, being a little scared. It's okay. You'll be I, fine. 
This is not good. I can't get in this locker. Hold on. I got you. 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 No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All good. All good. I'm just gonna leave that side of the locker closed. That way, we know not to try fucking with that side of the locker. Yeah, I genuinely think there's something bugged with the left side of the locker. It just will not ever let yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you are entire, entirely right. It is bugged. Get out, you demon sect. Get out, you demon sect. Portal. Yeah. Portal. Close. Just one? Seems to be. Cool. Be rude. In order to smash the enemies of the church. Right, calm down. We pray you to hear us. Ugh. What is wrong with this locker? <laughs> so unreliable. Is it over? No, it's near Tater. Um, there we go. Okay, sir. I'm good. Stuck in the locker again. Mm -hmm. Get out of the ghost of all impurity! Yay! Ghost inside. Ghost inside out. Yeah! We're so good at this. And we all survived too! Finally. I think that's the first time I've ever done an exile with everyone still alive. Mm hmm. And I. Help. You were alive too, Tata. Yeah. I know. You've broken it. You've broken the curse. I broke the curse, that's it. Nothing but life from here on out. And not once did we need to use a crucifix. Oh wow, I had zero percent sanity. You guys I'd were... imagine after what we just dealt with, you probably wouldn't be very sane. You guys are at twenty two percent. Gonna take a full team of psychotherapists to get you through this one. Right. I'm going to do one more before yep. bed. Uh, yep, Uno Mas. Say the same thing. Good I quite timing. like that house, so I'm going to remember that one. And by I'm going to remember that one. Yeah. Woodwood Avenue. <laughs> Woodwood? Woodwood, Wood, yeah. I live Wood. on Woodwood Avenue. Woodward. Can't wait to use that. Can't wait to use that. Can't wait to use that. And Levenji, I know I told you about this, but uh, Tater, I don't know if you ever heard this one, but uh, I found out in my town there is a Tanglewood Street. You did say that, yeah. Don't like Can't that one, but that. I'd be moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember you mentioned that in the last one. That's, uh... yeah, no thanks. <laughs> you're, you're out, are you, Tater? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm glad I know that now after playing Phasmo versus living there, then playing Phasmo and be like, uh... Finding out. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, um... 
I'm trying to think of the map now. Is it anywhere near on the map as well? No. No, okay. no it is not. No, that... Tanglewood is in like... Uh, That's top right, top left, isn't it? Yeah. In like Washington State, is it? Something lovely. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> that would have been weirder. <laughs> Just a bit. Oh, and it's here. <laughs> Happy hunting. Imagine if these games actually put any, you know, effort into their localization and their location efforts. You know, we've been hunting at houses in Russia with American flags. Yeah. <laughs> in in a truck that says West Coast on it with a mailbox that says US Mail. <laughs> it's the detail that gets me. Oh, <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, if you're going to live in Russia, you might as well have U.S. mail, right? That's that's how it works. Someone's yeah, sure got to not. get you your mail. Oh, wow. First drawer you open, diffuse. And a lighter. Woo! Okay. And a ghost. <laughs> oh, I got a toy train as well. Nice. <laughs> wow. Because he is the one who likes all our pretty songs. And he likes to sing along. And he likes to shoot his gun. But they, they, they don't know what it means. Thank you. That was my poetic reading of In Bloom. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, it's this house. Okay. This is a weird ass house. Yeah, this is the one where me and Jimmy were experimenting with the dead people physics while Brody was <laughs> failing to hunt by himself. Yep. The most spacious. Just this would just lead you to believe that houses are just complete and utter. I imagine if I had this much open space in a house, I'd assume it would be haunted. That would be that would be a pool table, like you know, there's so much you could do with that. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why you would just leave it open like this. I uh, think. I think this house is clear. Although I didn't see the thingy, the um, Ouija board. Ah, got the passport. Is that I guess, is it? Which you can say there's no ghost and go home. <laughs> this house is completely clear. You lied to us. You Just lied. Like real ghost. Just like real ghost hunting. Yep. Can't Eight hours of running around a location here. with nothing to show except dust. Hey, dust is pretty scary, man. Some people are allergic to that shit. This is quite true. Sorry, I was just hearing from my daughter there that she found Santa in disguise. Fantastic. Wait, found Santa in the in disguise or in, in disguise. the skies? Well, that's what I thought she said at first, but it was in disguise. Okay. Damn fake Santas. How did she know? Very smart. When you when when you're true of heart and believe as much as she does, you know it's him. Very smart. Very very smart. 
Do we have a room or a we? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I was downstairs and the zombie army was floating in the ceiling. Oh, that one got that me a... good because that was... was amazing. The way my camera was positioned, I had one of their face like right in front of it in the center of the screen. Oh boy. Oh, that was horrible. I found another toy train by the way. Oh my god, that's three toy trains. Are you fucking shitting me? Nope. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> choo choo, motherfucker. We're really going to be relying on your theory now, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> and before it's the air, air talisman, because fuck you. Oh my god, my poor fragile heart. I thought that was the ghost for a second, Tater. <laughs> that was good, Tater. I like that. That was. Almost as good as not knocking Sarah. <laughs> He's the one. What is your favorite room? You understood that? What the fuck? I can't understand a normal oh, sentence, but you can understand a sung fucking phrase. That is, uh, that is how you have to talk room? to it. I mean, I want to be surprised, but I'm really not. Right. You understood that? What the fuck got on Sunday normal sentence that you can understand a sung fucking phrase that is your, what is your favorite room for it? <laughs> I, mean, I think I think you might need to call a priest to help how, you with that. How you don't get published, I'll never know. Those words were just beautiful. What was its favorite room out of Quinn? I didn't read because I got distracted <laughs> by the subtitles. Amazing. <laughs> what is your favorite room? <laughs> what is your favorite room? What is your favorite room? Okay, okay, calm down. What is your favorite room? What is your favorite room? L O Yeah B B Y Lobby. So yeah, whoever's white right where you are. Or whoever's downstairs okay. right where you are. No no, but uh, be careful. So where you are, you are right in between the living room and... Oh, it's hunting. It didn't spawn down here. It seems like it's just right in the front door. Pretty much. You just... So... Yeah, it's it's pretty much at the front door. You've just got to be careful because there doesn't there isn't a distinction between the living room, the kitchen, and the, kitchen and the lobby. Best place to assume the lobby is, Jimmy, is directly outside the garage, I would say. That seems like that might be reliable, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right with that. So, it hunts over. So, Jimmy, if you come out and walk, I guess, to your right. So, if, see if you hug that, uh, come back. I get, is there like a little indent wall? So, where you are hiding on that wall, is there like a little indent? Yeah, there's an indent that separates. Uh, Grandma at least said into the it would kitchen. save me from making the wrong choices in life. I know she's crazy for me. How can one item help with this? So, so am that... I considered in the living room right here? Yeah, living room is right there. Okay, Jimmy, I so... think this is our talisman. I genuinely think it's our talisman. I think so. So pretty much, it's right around the map no, in here. the front door. It's like here. Oh yeah. Here... Oh, she's right there behind you. Yep. There you go. What's up, bitch? What's up? <laughs> you call her a bitch uh, and she ran away. Are you here? Oh, you uh, flipping careful because you screwed that Ouija board shirt at nine percent. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Where are you? How old are you? Couldn't figure out the door for a sec. <laughs> Where are you? Are you are here? You here? Uh, stop the ghost with the crucifix, have blowed a candle, and remain calm in the closet. Spirit I've never... Isn't working for me. 
never yeah, ever yeah, had yeah. that one. I had the little mini game once, and I couldn't figure out what the heartbeat was because I was getting the heartbeat from the ghost and the heartbeat from the mini game. <laughs> Where are you? I've had it once, Here. but ironically, um, not when I have Where the objective. <laughs> How old are you? Where are you? Are you close? Here. Where are you? Here. Can you talk to me? Oh, good well, that was a good guess. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? It was quite surprisingly not one of the three toy trains. Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Are you here? A little of that. Where are you? Oh man, I got five one, five off that one. Where are you? Do we have any evidence? Nope. Are you here? Nope. Where are you? Oh, is that a hunt? No. That's a door closing. Just a little bit Where of slurry now. Oh, I'm not getting any luck with that. I've got a UV. Let me go scrounge. Oh, ghost writing. Yep. Yeah. Ghost writing. Yeah. Nice. Ghost writing. Right, so it's Ghost like... writing. Are you ectoplasming upstairs? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Cool. And uh -oh, I uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Hammer So, nothing upstairs. Nothing downstairs either, on the ectoplasm front. Are you here? Check the freezing temps. Where are you? Where are you? Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Oh, still not working. What do, what you, do want? you want? Are you Are child? You child? No. Just turn the power out. Where are you? No, I didn't. Are you here? Interdasting. Interdasting. Where are you? Are you here? Are you here? Where are you? 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 Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Joke's on you, bitch. I was looking at a note. Guys. Finally, I beat the ghost for once. 
Alright, I am pretty confident we are not getting freezing right temperatures. Yeah, I love churros. Where are you? Where are you? You know you can't get. Oh, looking at the book. You know you can't get voice record or spirit box, right? Or are you just playing that on loop for fun? Just checking around, waiting for something to happen. Nah, all right. What well, we can't get either of those. No, not with ghost writing. Okay. Oh, is that a hunt? Uh, it might be. It might be. I don't know. Oh crap. Run, 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 yeah, run, 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 Oh! Jesus! What the <laughs> fuck? Ghost, like is, that. Ghost is pissed that I saved your life. Oh my god. Yeah, she came from upstairs, cheeky bitch. Yeah, she did. I mean, what? What now? I don't know. No fingerprints. Heartbeat. It's heartbeat. I don't know where she is. No fingerprints anywhere. Where's our video camera? Uh, right on the corner next to the, uh, the little... Yeah, it's right the, on this uh The table, shelf. there you go, yeah. Hunt. No, oh, hunt. You okay? Spawn downstairs at the bottom of the stairs right now. I'm outside. It, it's just standing there in the railing. Oh, no, no, it figured it out. <clears throat> you both outside, yeah, it's just me. Yep, just... I think so. Okay. She doesn't know where you are, she's just wandering. Upstairs she goes. Someone's in the kitchen with Heinrich. Well done. Yep. Oi. I'm back. Where's the EMF? Oh, I'm back. I have not seen it. I don't have it. Um, we do have an EMF, right? Well, we must do, because we always bring one. I think it's one of, the, like, the two things that you get given by default. Because I've never not had an EMF. Mr. EMF, where are you? Oh, Wait, for fuck's sake. What? 
Oh. She knew. I don't know how she knew where I was, but she just opened the locker and killed me. She was following me. Yeah, and then she decided, nah, I'm gonna go in here and kill him instead. Yeah. So what you're saying is, Teddy got you killed. A very Brody moment right there. I would kind of agree, because if I'm being honest with you, I kind of led it in a stupid direction. I shouldn't have gone that way. So, I'll take it. Oh, I found the email. Excellent. <laughs> that is any consolation. Wait, can I even be this? Nope. It can't be you, can't be you. It can still be you. Mother bitch. Slut. Attack me, slut. Damn it. Damn it. Y'all can't just leave me alone like this. And now what do I do? Panic? You live, Oh my Rose. god, I escaped! <laughs> you sound you creepy ass bitch. Tyrion, please tell me that's you knocking. Um, what knocking? Hunting. Can I just say I love the fact that uh, your arm is sticking through the front of the cabinet and the crucifix is just right there. Yeah, it's a warning. Also, all the lights in the house suddenly got super bright. The house is very blue. Oh, yeah, all the lights in the hallway here just turned white for me. How old are you? Where, Where are, you? are you? Where, Where are you? Where are you? I don't, don't think it gives you a map off of Ouija board anymore. That's like the seventh time in a row. It seems like it's kind of random. <laughs> really? Zombies. We get, we get the zombies even when we're dead? Jesus. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we, we get all the ghost events. The ghosts can even run at you while you're dead. Can't even catch a break, dead. Are you just admiring your dead body. I mean, this is pretty <laughs> great. The jiggle bones on it is fantastic. <laughs> um. Do you guys have the passport? I just realized that the passport might be glitched in the floor. Well, I'm dead with you, so I ain't got diddly. Oh yeah, like, like the lighter is there? Yeah, that's what I'm concerned that the passport may be under the cabinet. Yeah. No way, that will be annoying. No, not at all. That's okay, I knocked down the cookie jar off the kitchen. No, that's your damage. Where are you? <gasps> How old are you? you? Yeah, I was, I was gonna say, where are you? And I heard... No, I, I, I left clicked and created an EMF orb, and it made a noise and it scared me. <laughs> yeah, it makes...
I don't know what to tell you, boys. The only thing that I can think of is placing another motion sensor. I don't know. Oh, that's useful. You know what I just thought of? Why don't you put down the sign that makes it so the ghost is more active? Well, we really, we really need to start doing that more. Is any consolation? Do we have EMF five? Oh, there you go. Hey, Anrio, Jin, Okijo. Well, then I'm gonna make. I'm gonna say it's this. This. I say unreal. Old guess? What are you basing that on? The hunt? My years of extensive knowledge. You'll never find me. <laughs> found me. Did you I'm go going... dead? I'm going on real because we have EMF level 5 and we have ghost writing. I did a sweep and you did a sweep, so it can't be haze or ghost orbs. Ectoplasm, you did a sweep. Infrared motion sensor is still a possibility. It can't be spirit box, it can't be voice recorder. So infrared motion sensor and uh, laser projection are both still a possibility. I am going to go with laser projection. So I say unreal. I'm going to go with gin because freezing temperatures is a pain in the ass to find. Me too, that's what I've got in. Oh, I did a pretty <laughs> extensive sweep of the house and I didn't get any freezing temps, but you can have yeah. your doubts. D um, don't it's, don't not that, it. it's not that we doubt you, it's mm -hmm. that we have done many hunts where we have done extensive sweeps for freezing temperatures. And it's been freezing temperatures. Yeah. Or I'll just run around beeping with that stupid thermometer through the whole house repeatedly and it just never drops at all. I mean, I and... still have my conspiracy theory that the boiler has to be off to find trees and temperatures. We, we need to test that more thoroughly to see if that is a thing because that would be good to know. I mean, you would think it would be, right? Because why else would you have the boiler? What other beep, purpose beep, could beep, it possibly beep. serve? To be a pain in the ass? No, I mean, there's that, yeah. Excellent, hunting again. Once again, she will never find me here. <laughs> Didn't work the last time, but she'll definitely never find me here this time. Where is here? Do you know, hearing sometimes it's best not to know these things. Maybe this is why we can't have nice things. She's kind of lost at the moment. Like, on this side, she's back upstairs. She's going up the stairs and going down the stairs and going up the stairs and she de smart. Don't worry about where I was in. Were you in the tent? No. Wow, I can't change the page on the map. Unacceptable. Beep. I, so, this is one of the things I do like about this game, is the fact that you can interact with stuff as a ghost. Apart from just good boys in Phasma. Like, you can set off the motion sensors and pick up stuff, and I'm not sure about the whole creating EMF stuff and everything, but at least, like, you interact with the motion sensors and stuff. You can, you can do set that off in the normal game. You can set off the motion sensors in the normal, in Phasma. I yeah. never knew, so I thought that, but then I could never get it to work consistently. Oh, no, no, we have, we have tested that, and there have been many times where Brody has just stood in the motion sensor and run back and forth on us. Oh yeah. yeah, Brody is Brody's a piece of luck. <laughs> Brody <laughs> is a Brody. Huh. 
Well, I mean, it's a, it just says throw object. It, it doesn't specify whether or not it throws it at yourself. Because that's how you throw objects, right? You just whip them at yourself? Yeah. Come on, just... Knock, knock, knock. Rude. Stop knocking on shit. You can't make me. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll go in the truck. Hunting. That's her in the corner. But is that also her in the spotlight? Technically, yeah, because I just put an EMF field around her. Is she losing her religion? Um, if she's a ghost, I'm gonna guess, yeah. Do ghosts have religion? Is it, is it, is it over? No, it's not Don't, over. No, she's down walking stairs. downstairs. Oh, look how slowly that, that, she walked through that EMF field. And now it's over. It, it's definitely based on how long they stay in the EMF field. If they, if they stop in it, then they go really slow for a few seconds after. But if they just walk through it, they're just slightly slowed. Beep, 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 beep. Are you trying to be the roadrunner over there? Beep beep. R2 D2. What do you I'll mean? Blame you. We're going over here. What? It said like R2 D2 and he beeps. So I You're will be C three PO for the bants. Hunting. Is it? Come from upstairs. Thank you. Oh, she's where you. you are. Oh, no, wait. She's going for you. Yeah, she's coming. And munch. Nope. Well, there goes your crucifix. If you used one, or did it just stop? And on that note, I'm guessing <laughs> it's a journey and I'm leaving because we're out of crucifix. <coughs> Everyone else got your guesses in? Yep. Yep. I am an Oreo. It's a gen. You see, your problem is you didn't get out the demon sect. Oh, right, yeah. Because when called the Church of Christ. There you go. Was a gin. Tell yep. you, man. Freezing temperatures. Irrationally impossible to get. Yeah. They really are for some dumb reason. For no explicable reason. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, always fun playing. It was a mm -hmm. lot of fun. Congratulations on your six hour stream, Tater. I know, right? Ooh, very nice. Oh, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. No, you gotta wait 30 more seconds. Alright, alright, alright. I can do 30 se I can give you 30 oh. seconds. Give me 30 more seconds. That's what he said? No, I wish that was what he said. <laughs> Wait a minute. Might have been a better night if that's what he said. Hey. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm only four followers, five followers away now. Almost there. Fantastic, dude. We're going to get you there, dude. Five Fantastic. more followers to get you to affiliate. I reckon we can do that in the next couple of streams, dude. I think so. I think I got, how many did I get? Three today, four today? Was that one, two, three, four within the last 24 hours? So. Bang. 
fantastic, man. Very nice. So we're almost there. Almost there. All right, guys, we have a good rest of your evening and uh, speak again soon. Yep, speak you again as well, soon. gentlemen, and I will catch you guys again. later. See you guys later. Have later. good night. And as for you, stream people, it's been fun. It's, yeah, six hour stream, that's my longest one ever. That's crazy. Um, thank you all for the new followers today. Thank you all for joining in. Hopefully, you had fun with Bait. And yeah, have a great day. Have a great weekend when it comes. We'll see you all again in the next one. Take it easy, guys.